Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, sadly, it's on Z7 again. He's continued lying, and so I don't think he's learned his lesson at all. I'm just gonna go through a few reasons why I don't think he's learned his lesson. Uh, number one, um, he put something in his video of how it was done, where um, he quotes, all of this drama would have not happened if that person didn't snitch on me. I, I'm wildly, I'm just in shock. He's, he's blaming the person who snitched on him for all the drama. No, it's not the person, you were cheating in the game. It's your fault that there was drama because you cheated and then you lied about it. It's not the snitch's fault, who cares if, you gotta expect to get in trouble if you, if you cheat on a game. Like, you knew the repercussions and you did it. It's not Whoever told on you, it's not their fault. Number two. He constantly tries to hide behind his non-profit to make it sound like he was being a hero. In, in this video, I forget what video this is, I think it's the uh, why he did it video. He says, So I only duped to help more of those people who got scammed, aka scam victims. That's not how you help them. You don't cheat in the game that you claim to love and make the devs look bad all for the purpose of helping the scam victims just do just do it legit actually help them don't cheat in the game because you got to remember not only is he he's helping these people with cheated in money with spitfire money that he cheated into the game he's also posting it to his youtube which is where a majority i'm I suppose of his following comes from is when he does these giveaway videos or he posts these videos of him being a hero and giving back people's items he's, he's largely capitalizing on this and the fact that he cheated in the money makes it even worse and it's just another way of him instead of apologizing and owning up for his mistakes he tries to sound like a hero in the situation number three these seven will constantly lie all the time to make himself look better. In this case, he's lying about how Sky DM'd him for help and then immediately blocked him off. That's not how it happened. And you can see again, it's making his fanbase turn against the devs. So let's take a look at what really happened between Sky and Z in the DMs. Hello? Hi, I wanted to talk about your ban. Oh, I thought it was already figured out. All right, tell me. Eyes emoji? We managed to figure out what happened to you and you duplicated unique items for your money. I want to make a deal with you. You help us patch the issue and we can lift your ban early. Another eyes emoji? How does that sound? Well, not exactly. But that, I mean, want to explain then? I had farmers. They farmed for me. I got a couple splits and I sold it for cash. But for this, I can help. But I want two other help along with that. Is that possible? What two other things do you want? C7, the person who got banned from the Wild West for glitching. Who is entirely at the mercy of the devs. In my honest opinion, a 30 day ban is merciful in his case for what he did and then lied about it. Anyway, anyways, he goes on to negotiate. He uses his glitch as leverage to try and get special treatment. And it's so funny, you've got to watch. Number one, I want funds on helping run my NPO where people got scammed. Number two, aka the one you said, once I'm banned, I don't want to lose my data. Number three, is there a chance I can get the Thor hammer for a video? Number one, if you help us, I can grant you 100k in starting funds. Number two, we can see what happens. Number three, no. So basically what happened after this is Sky or any of the devs, I don't know who figured it out, it was probably Sky, Sky figured it out like the glitch and no longer needed Z7's help and didn't want to continue negotiating with him for more like <laughs> so she just all she had to do was just fix it herself so in this time frame Sky managed to figure out the glitch on her own and knew how to fix it and no longer needed Z7's help so pretty much after this she removed Z7 she didn't want to continue negotiating with him after she had already figured out the issue. He kept trying to get special treatment. Though, now, I'm pretty sure the issue's fixed. 
and Z7 basically was begging to get back in her DMs to help her, but it's too late. He already like already kind of squashed his attempt to even like help the devs at all. So, and then he also made a video lying about it, so that didn't help. Now, not only did he duplicate Spitfires on his main, he did a significant amount of duplicating Spitfires on his alt. If you scroll down, way down, you can see that he sold, like, well here's one full page of him selling Spitfires. Here's a second whole page of him spilling, f selling Spitfires. Here's almost a third full page of him selling Spitfires. Then he does a little bit of bidding on a Patterson or something. Um, then, if you go to the next page, he bids on a Spitfire there and just does normal stuff. Then there's another full page of him duplicating Spitfires. And then there's almost another- there is a full page except for these, like, four things. There's another full page of him duplicating Spitfires and selling them. There's another full page of it after that. And basically another full page after that. And then he did some Thunderstruck logs. And then, once he figured out that he got banned on his main, and this is on his alt, he tried to quickly get rid of all the money that he had <laughs> accumulated from duplicating Spitfires by buying a, a bunch of Mustangs. He bought Mustang after Mustang after Mustang after Mustang after Mustang. I can't imagine how long this must have taken. All to just get rid of the funds to try and hide the fact that he duplicated on this alt. Which, by the way, this alt was supposed to be for his non-profit, in which he's cheating to get the money to help people. Which is so unbelievably scummy. Him portraying himself as this hero that's helping other people with his own money. He's cheating the money in! It's not even his! It's all a sham, and his followers are getting lied to all the time. Now, NPO Helper one is his alt account, and so now it's banned, obviously. But it's just so, like... He tried so hard to make sure that no one was gonna notice. Like, once he did it on his main, he quickly went to doing it on his alt, and did tons of duplicating. And it's just like, bro, if he didn't get caught on this, like what he said in his one comment on his video where he said if someone didn't snitch there wouldn't be all this drama. I guarantee you he would still be exploiting this glitch and he would still be duplicating stuff for money. And it's just like, there's no way to like, he just won't stop lying pretty much and it's just annoying. Now if you want to see the full conversation right here between Z and Sky without me editing it and making it kind of goofy. Here's the full little, like, section here. Um, with that, that's pretty much the end of the video. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, I don't know, Z7 just continues to lie about things, and it's just annoying, and I got more leaks, so I figured I would present them. Um, do with this information as you will. Um, yeah, it's basically just, it's just annoying when a YouTuber who's pretty popular, decent, amount of subscribers just decides to like be this like manipulative and lies this much to their audience just to like save their own skin in these type of situations it's just i don't know so yeah do your own thing whatever peace also watch this video it's pretty funny it's by a guy named moth and i think you'll like it